you know, like that kind of, yeah, just that basic human connection. Yeah. And there's some warmth and engagement, even if, yeah, even if you're not laughing all the time, there's amusement, there's happiness, there's connection. I wonder as well, because it, 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 it's like a shared endeavor, isn't it? You know, when when you improvise, it's a collective, it's a collective activity. So we, you know, you get the kicks from laughter and connection, which yeah. is a human need. But you, you know, you also get that the fact that you're collaborating on something. And I, wonder, I wonder if that's it's, it's sort of got an addictive quality to it as well. I think so, particularly at the moment. You know, it's it's like <laughs> that collaboration that people would have in friendships or work isn't there. So you're working together with somebody really intimately to build something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it is so human, isn't it? Like that need to to connect and, and do, um, yeah, do something together collectively is just such a human need, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, we need it. Ah, oh. so um, we're, I think we're live on Facebook. So hello, world. Hello, world. <laughs> this is the lovely Heather. Um, and uh, we're going to do a 10 minute scene together. Um, so how it, what I'll do, Heather, is I'll just, I've got my random word generator. I know your word generator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, I secretly am in love with my random <laughs> word generator. Like, <laughs> like sometimes even like, I'm not, haven't even got a scene or anything that I'm not doing anything. I just look at it because I'm like, oh, what's next? Oh, what's the, press it again. And you get all these other words and you go, oh, that's a good word. Or, <laughs> <laughs> like, live your life by it <laughs> it's just such a crazy thing to do but it's completely uh addictive to, oh what's next what's next um awesome so i pressed it and the the word that i saw first in this list is respect okay respect. so um we'll just have a little 10 minute play and um see what happens You look amazing. Oh, wow. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> your, your hair, you've had your hair done. Yeah, yeah, well, I wanted to make a good impression. I mean, we've been chatting online for ages, so it was, it was just, yeah, I just wanted to, I, I wasn't sure about the, the purple dress, but anyway. Oh, purple is your colour. Really? Yeah, definitely. It's amazing. And, um, you know, we've been chatting online, Ruth, and I just, yeah, well, sometimes people aren't what they appear to be, are they? So true. So true. You, 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 you seem exactly as I thought you would. I mean, you know, I, you just, you know, you look amazing and, and, I, I love those the books I mean I'm a bit of a fan really I I know that you're a well-known author and I was just um so I'll try not to fangirl too much but um I couldn't believe it when you said you wanted to go on a like on a date you know I, I was I, like well I, I couldn't believe that you were you even had a profile online I was on on the, the on the site because I, I just thought oh you know that somebody as as well known a, a, as you would be happily married blah 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 or whatever happily in a relationship and no i mean i've i've, I've had my share of, of of difficulties really and i never never really connected yeah. so yeah i can understand you thinking that but no so um, you put yourself out there on the online dating and here we are <laughs> absolutely and you're everything you said too and and i'm so flattered that you like my books you know i mean I, dogs are my life yeah and maybe that's why i i haven't spent enough time connecting with people really yeah 
and, and so connecting with you was just so special because I write about dogs and, and then I found somebody who who is a great artist and who paints dogs. Yes. I honestly I like I, I that has been my passion for like oh ever since I was a girl I think I was just I mean we we had about three or well we've had so many dogs but at one point we had three dogs at the same time uh, we had a boxer we had a poodle um and we had a sheep dog and like they were the way they played and interacted I was fascinated I was only a teenager but I just started you know noodling drawing and just found a passion for 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 painting and well dogs in particular so yeah when, when did you first feel passionate about dogs and stuff yourself well you know it's, it's lovely hearing your story Ruth because it was it was similar for me growing up we we had a couple of well different breeds of dogs kind of cross breeds mm. um but there was something about them Mm. that just captured captured me I, I, we've talked online for a while and you know I haven't had the best relationship with with my parents so I just immersed myself mm -hmm. in my dogs mm -hmm. and they took over my life and they were a comfort mm -hmm. and I found that like you started to to paint them mm. I started to to write yeah to write books and the, and the more i wrote about dogs the more they just wow that, that just took over yeah i'm sorry i'm not i am listening i'm just i'm just sketching another i'm just that's like like that's just a sketch you know to start <gasps> um this was a this was a dog that i saw on the way to the cafe here this morning it was kind of like a poodle cross <laughs> <laughs> so I just sorry I just had to get it down on on paper we just you know just as a, as a beginning sketch you know oh Ruth that is beautiful and I can't I can't tell you how flattered I am that that you've shared that with me <laughs> you've sat there and drawn that and shared it thank you me. yeah well you know you're you're the leading dog author so um you know who else who better to share it with than, <laughs> um. well you know i was just wondering we've got on so well and it's beautiful sitting here with you now i'm about to start another book which i've not told anybody else so you're the first one I'm, I'm telling that to and I want this to be a really really special book I'm going to talk about the dogs and their their relationship with humans and how we connect and what I'd really like which I haven't done yet yeah is for it to be illustrated <gasps> and I was wondering how you feel about illustrating and we could work on this together oh my gosh i i would love that i would love that and um, what's the main what i'm getting feeling inspired what's the main dog that you that, 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 that in the book what's the what's the dog protagonist in this book well i thought a boxer and seeing as you had a box, you know, we can, and, and I've had boxes, we can, we can work on this. Can you do a boxer for me now? Yeah, I mean, I'm just doing a dot. I'm just, I mean, it's just a, it's just a, it's just an early sketch, early sketch, but, you know, something. Oh, <gasps> wow. Something like that, maybe. I mean, the, uh, that's fabulous. And you know what? You've, you've got the ears. The, the ears. And the, uh, the little box face. I mean. Yeah. You've got the whole thing. A lot of people can't can't draw boxes because they're quite. Yeah. Well, they can't conceptualize. I mean, I think this is like a, this, you know, I mean, this is my gift is, is that I, you know, name any dog and I can, I can sketch. I can draw like name any dog. Uh, a dash hound. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I love dash hounds. They're just so, they're just so cute, aren't they? 
Um, yeah, and- they are. Just, they're just so cute. Oh, you've stopped me. Tracks. Oh, unbelievable. Ruth, you are unbelievable. I have so much respect for you. This is incredible. Can I can I ask you for one more? Oh. Well, I might ask you for more than one. I'm in the flow. I'm in the flow because I'm I'm so excited about meeting you. I mean, gosh. Oh, oh, I mean, oh, you're like you're almost like the leading author of dogs. I cannot believe you've asked me to illustrate your next book. I mean, my gosh. I mean, Louise Wilson. I mean, that's you, you're just a huge name. You're sorry, I'm fangirling. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Right, you know, I, I don't really take myself that seriously sometimes. Oh, you should. I've, you I've should done this for so long. And I, I, I'm just, it's just what comes naturally to me. And to have someone like you telling me this is, is incredible. I'm a big fan. And I've also got a crush on you, but I'm a big fan of your work. But I mean, you know, I mean, we're here on it. On a, on a date, obviously, but I mean, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just, all of a sudden, I just feel really, I just feel really nervous. I don't know why, just feeling very um, flushed. Like, I can't believe that. Okay, hit me with your next, what's your next one? Your Labrador. Next... Oh, let's have something opposite. We've got the little titchy dash hand, and now I want, the Labrador, because I'm I'm working on how we connect to different shapes, different sizes, and different temperaments of dogs. Yes. That's what I'm looking at now. So we need opposite. Oh. Okay. Oh. This is, I mean, it's just a sketch. It's just, it's just a sketch. My pen keeps running out of ink. It's just a sketch. Oh, Ruth, I can't. <laughs> if it's as good as your others, I'm so excited. Oh, that, that's just unbelievable. And the texture, you can feel it. You know, the way Labradors are so smooth. I can just feel, just looking at that picture, I can just feel put my heart and soul into these pictures you know I mean for me this I I can't think of a better partnership me and you I mean I hope we get to I mean I hope we can pursue our kind of date life I mean I really really like you a lot I mean I really have a huge crush on you but I mean regardless like even if Gosh, I don't want to jump the gun, but even if like our relationship doesn't work out, I oh. I still hope that our professional life together, our, our partnership professionally might work. But I honestly, I want our romantic partnership to work too, obviously, because you're gorgeous. But, um, you know, just in case, just in case it's like that doesn't work out, I, I, I would be honoured to illustrate your next book, Louise. Oh, Ruth, I, I, I totally agree with everything you've said. I mean, you're amazing, you're lovely, you're everything I hoped you'd be, and I, I want this to work out. But if not, we have our we have our dogs and we we can collaborate on that. But, you know, absolutely. But I, I think, me. Like, I really feel like this is, I mean, look, this is you're my muse almost. That's that's the dash hound. You're you're like I can just see it now. Like, I can just see how, I think it's gonna be a big hit. Whatever this book is, I, I know we can make it work. Ruth, I think we can. And I want it to give you something back. And you know, the way you can, you've drawn so perfectly for me. It's so exciting. Well, because I can write, I, I wrote a little poem Oh my gosh, I am flattered. Yeah. I, oh, this is just blowing my mind. <laughs> Would I you like to hear it. it? Yeah, I'd love to hear it. Love to hear it. Here we go. I hope you like it. Ruth, Ruth, we both like dogs. 
and we'll always walk with them through the rain or the fogs but regardless of dogs there's also us too i'd love to be forever me and you <sighs> that's just so moving oh I think we were meant to be, Louise. We were just meant to be. I can't believe. Why didn't we meet five months ago when we started chatting online? We should have just met. I know, I know. It's, it's mad, isn't it? it? I think we were both just shy and we didn't know. Um, we, just, we didn't know how this yin and yang would work. And we just, we didn't know how innately talented we were. Like, your poem, your books, your poetry, and me and my illustration. I mean, this is, we are seriously good at what we do. We are. Do you know, Ruth, we, we truly are. You know, Ruth, Ruth, I am your muse. Ruth, Ruth, to me, you're the best news. <gasps> you're so creative. Oh, my gosh. Louise, I'm going to. I'm gonna get the check and we can, I'm just gonna get the bill. And we like, let's just go, let's just, let's just go right now and start work on our first draft. Yes, yes, I love you. <laughs> love you. Scene. in behind my notepad I was like <laughs> I was scribbling like that because I was absolutely <laughs> how am I gonna keep a straight face with this <laughs> well how'd you think it felt for me yeah all of these pictures of that's so clever <laughs> oh that's why I love improv <laughs> I know, you know what <laughs> me too and you know what but it's just so funny because I love it when characters take things so seriously. Like, we're just so goddamn serious about this <laughs> artwork and this book and this poetry. I mean, kudos, Heather, you, my God. You um, <clears throat> you riffed off those poems so well. But yeah, I just, it just makes me laugh how, how that's the comedy for me is how seriously characters take shit you know like 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 it's crap but as characters it's like this is just the best this is the best thing ever you know what I mean and for me that's just comedy gold I just absolutely loved it yeah oh I did and I I just felt in the scene you're doing all this to me I've got to give you something back I want to give you something back so I thought I write I'll write a poem <laughs> I was so excited when you said that. You were like, I've been writing poetry. And I was like, yes, go on, go on. I know you can do this. You've essentially pimped yourself to do it. So you're going to do yeah. it. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I know you've been doing like some musical improv um, courses as well, you know, where where you learn, like you learn to get comfortable with rhyme and all of that. So I was 100% like, she's going to do this. She is going to make this rhyme. <laughs> I was getting together a couple more in case we had longer, but <laughs> no, no, it was great. Quit while you're ahead. And um, yeah, I mean, and I suppose the thing about musical improv as well, as they say, if you can't rhyme, obviously the most important thing is to stay genuine to the scene. But if a rhyme comes to you, then, then great. And um, with your beautiful drawings, you inspired my poetry. <laughs> I just don't know how I kept a straight face. I, that was a struggle for me. That was a struggle. I love it. I think it was this one that cracked me up. It looks like, it's basically like a dinosaur yeah. slash tortoise turtle thing. It's absolutely a dinosaur, yes. And yet we call this a Labrador. I just can't get my head around that. It's just, oh, that oh, yeah, so fun. <laughs> It is a it is a tortoise. It's even got a little tortoise mouth. Yes. Oh my god. Oh god, how that was so fun. Thank you so much for doing oh, it. Ten minutes. Really.
That's so fun, so fun. So how long have you been improvising for now? Is it, yeah, I lose track. So do I, because it's been, I've had kind of gaps, but it, it was about two years ago that I did your first course. Mm. Um, and that really sticks out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. when I, well, when I first came to improv, um, I did your course and then I came back to another couple of courses. Yes, that's right. Yeah, 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 you did. And then joined the Monday night, but I've probably only done about half a dozen Monday nights when yeah. we were locked down. But and yeah, it's been such a journey. Has it? I mean, it always is, but I'm like, yeah. What, how would you like, ex how do you describe your journey so far? Well, I always remember the first thing you said to me, it was when you, I was doing an acting class and you filled in one day when that particular tutor wasn't there. So you did some improv stuff with us and I got talking to you about it and said, oh, I'd be far too scared to do that. Because I'd done sort of like theatre when I was a teenager and the improvisation then, or certainly where I went, was very different. And it was just go and create a scene and come back, show us in five minutes. And I just freaked. It, it just, yeah, it wasn't for me. But... Um, when we would do we you did some improv warm-ups with us when you did that class and you did the um i'm a 70s rock star one yeah 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 well, like the association thing and i remember saying at one point whatever people were talking about so i said i'm diarrhea and i was lying on the floor and i was chatting to you afterwards and you said and i said i'm really i'd love to but i'm nervous and you said if you can lie on the floor and be a pool of diarrhea then you can come and do improv <laughs> And I thought, okay. And then I went to watch the class you were doing. Then we're doing a show. So I went to watch the show and I was in awe. I thought, how do you do that? How do you just get up and do that? So I joined your next, next course um, and kind of, like I said, then did that. And then the rest was history, sort of thing. Yeah. But um, I kind of, it's funny because you, I suppose, like with learning anything, like we were talking a bit about before. I think you go in sort of stages of going up and then plateauing and going up again and having a few dips along the way. Yeah. Um, and I almost think I get more sort of <gasps> bit anxious about it now because it almost means more. You know, at first yeah. it's like, it's fun, it's a laugh. And yeah. I noticed you talking to Kat before about, and Kat was saying, what's the worst thing that can happen? And to me, I was thinking, well, I can go and make an arse of myself and I don't have to see these people again, yeah. you know? a um, bit like going for an interview or something you think if I make a complete show myself that's it um, so that was that was kind of it for me but then as improv started to matter more you kind of realise what you don't know yeah start to like with any any new thing you take up the more you learn the more you start to learn also what you don't know oh my god and, yeah. and it starts to matter more so it kind of you get more nervous because it suddenly matters more whilst yeah. like getting more excited yeah, yeah. so that's oh, where wow. we're at the moment that's so that's such a great way of like articulating it as well because it does like yeah it, it, you know if you when you actually give a crap about about whatever interest you're doing you do you do want yeah you do want to get better at it um and simultaneously realize shit there's so much i don't know um yeah and the only way through that is to do it isn't it the only way through that is to go okay there's a look because i think it can feel a bit overwhelming like i remember that moment myself when i was first improvising i um, i remember that moment when i just thought oh my god i just there's so much i don't know I don't, and i don't and it felt like a bit of a wall of overwhelm at yeah. the point at that point, i was like oh gosh there's so much more to it and and it, yeah I did feel a bit overwhelming but the answer is just to do it anyway isn't it yeah. and then you just basically tool yourself you know you, you skill up you know you get you you get your toolkit on and like you know learn more do more practice like learn from a load of different people do different styles and genres and then you, all of a sudden yeah you know your toolkit's kind of getting bigger and bigger and bigger yeah yeah no, absolutely, because I think it's like learning to drive or anything, isn't it? You know, you think, I can't, I, I'm concentrating on that bit. And then I've learned, right, I'm going to expand, like I've just done, like the viewpoints course, I'm thinking, like, I'm going to use more space, more silence. But then you're in a funny scene where, like the one we've done, where it, it is more like that, and you go into another, and it all just gets a bit, oh, when can I use what? Um, but yeah. it's 
you know, you have it, you learn to drive or anything, you have a few days don't you, when you say, oh, I'm off it, I can't do that. Yeah. But you love it and you get right back on it. But it's, as you say, it's going through that, I'm just going to keep doing it, I'm just going to keep doing it. And eventually things, well, not everything clicks, it never does with anything, yeah. but things begin to more make a bit more sense, yeah. I think that's a good point as well. I think, like, the point is, I suppose, to have all the tools in your kit and then depending on who you're improvising with, yeah that's when you might deploy certain skills mm -hmm. over other skills because it all depends on context. Yeah, exactly. And, and who you're yeah. with and the vibe of the scene, like what, what vibe is this scene? And, um, you know, some people are very much into like slow and steady and narrative and slow build and in sense other people will be like, bang, 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 into the scene, bosh, here we are. So it's kind of like just, yeah, I mean, improvisers are great at being flexible. So I guess it's just having that flexibility, but having the having the tools in your toolkit, which yeah. is the harbour sack for me. <laughs> I keep doing that for like, I've got my tool kit, but it's not, it's a rucksack, obviously. Um, but having all the tools in there, you know, then you can just pull them out whenever. And I guess with you saying that, for all of us, some of our tools are sharper than others, you know. Yeah. Like I've always found it a little bit hard doing certain aspects of it, like endings or pivots a little bit. And I'm more comfortable in middle of scene with emotions and connection and all of that. And that probably comes from something about my background and my, my work and my personal background. But other people are very good at the in there quick fire. And in a scene, even if it's short form or long form, you need all of that, don't you? You okay. need, you know, as you said, and that's what I've kind of seen in my short time, you know, the scenes which obviously you're not using silence or whatever, you're in there by the dynamic of it. There's other scenes where there's loads of that and it is fitting it in, but it's it's picking, I don't know how I'm explaining it, but yeah, the tools that aren't as sharp for you are the ones that you just keep needing almost to force yourself into. Oh yeah, and I mean, and that that's that phrase, isn't it? Lean into, lean into that, the, all that stuff that you're not doing, all that stuff that you're not, or the, the, you're less comfortable with. That's the stuff you lean into because yeah. that's the stuff that you, you know, double down on that. Follow the fear. You know, there's all of these phrases that we say in improv, but effectively, that's what it means. If if you if you want to get better at such and such a tool, then then go do the, go do courses and go practice that in scenes you know keep sharpening that tool through repetition through reps you yeah. know trying it because if you, yeah I mean and this is really a note to self for me because like I have tried for example musical improv numerous times over the last 13 years okay. and um I and I do try and lean into it but I there's something about that that I just my I get into my head too much because I'm concerned about getting it right. I'm concerned about um, singing in tune, which I know in theory doesn't matter. I'm concerned about rhyming, which I know in theory doesn't matter. But for me, it's like buttons are being pressed and like, so in the end, I just get into my head with that. So I have tried to lean into it and I've tried to sharpen that tool numerous <laughs> occasions, but now I'm just like, well, do you know what? That's just not what I do. It's not what I mean. That's, that's not my thing. And that's okay. You know, yeah. I don't have to do it just because it's there. <laughs> you know. Exactly. Yeah. And I, so I guess that's the same with everything, isn't it? We all kind of lean towards different aspects of yeah. and, and like you say, we need it all. Like we yeah. if you're in a in a in a team on a course, uh performance team or or whatever, we all need different aspects of this improv styles and and skills like yeah. we need we, we 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 don't have to do it all ourselves we just have to trust that oh yeah you know bob he's great at punning so he'll just come up with a pun or you know um sarah she's amazing at emotional realism so she'll pull that out the bag yeah it's it's the yin and the yang isn't it it's it's yeah. um it's bringing it all together you don't have to do it all yourself um, what what's next for you, Has? Like, where, which direction? Which where do you want to lean into next? <laughs> do you know? I'm really, I'm really open at the moment. Like, I absolutely, obviously, I've done this with you for a couple of years, and I absolutely love it. And like we were talking about earlier on, it's it's that buzz, it's that connection, it's that very sort of faster in and out, which, which gives a certain buzz. Mm. 
Mm. Um, I've really loved doing the viewpoint stuff and that kind of tips into my past working in mental health and whatever as well of emotion and we used to say like the biggest things happen in silence often in mental health and stuff so I'm really into that but what I want to be able to do is do more of that I'm going to do some more of that um but I want to be able to like you said the backpack of skills to be able to to move them around so even if I ended up doing more of kind of longer form stuff you're still bringing in yeah those short form skills that's the base of it isn't it and vice versa so not in all scenes but obviously in some short form scenes you're still using the silence and the space and depending on the scene again we were sat in a cafe which was lovely in other scenes you, you're using the space and you're up and down and sometimes it's nice just to sit there and not do that yeah so I'm, I'm probably rabbiting a bit but to me it probably reflects where i'm at because i'm during lockdown i've done so much and then i've done a couple of other courses recently that i just feel i need to almost stop and reflect um not stop doing improv, but stop worrying about which direction and think, oh, yeah. I love this. I love doing the long form that I've done with you. I've loved the viewpoints. Just don't worry about where you're going. Just, it's still early days. Just wait and see what happens. That's that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, which is a beautiful metaphor for a scene, isn't it? Don't worry where you're going, just be where you're at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, so good to, so nice to talk to you. Um, yeah, one bit of advice you would give uh, the uh, somebody who was just about to start improv, what would you, what would you say to them? Um, well, I, I'm gonna hear Kat say before, what have you got to lose? And I sort of go along with that in a way that, that way I was kind of nodding when I was watching that because I, I felt similarly, as I say, when I first said to you, I'm not sure I can do that. I just kind of thought, and also I'm quite an adrenaline person. So I think I'd say, do you know what? Just go and do it. You will be scared. And this is something that I carry in my life because of my background and mental health as well is don't expect not to be scared. Yeah. That's where I'm coming to. Don't expect not to be scared because I think people think, oh, that's really scary, so I can't do it. Well, I still get adrenaline in every scene that I do. I still get a little bit pumped before I go on screen or get up if it's in person. So I think I'd say to people, just because you're anxious, don't think that's a reason not to do it. You will be anxious. Yeah. And that's okay. And actually, like I said before, it's also something about... Like Kath said, what's the worst thing that can happen? And also, you know, what my default is often, and it was in improv. If I go in and make an idiot of myself, I don't have to see any of these people again. It's one night, it's two hours. Yeah. Do it. If you if you really think it's it's that awful, you don't need to go back. Yeah. But I can guarantee people won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were talking about how addictive it is, uh, you know, how addictive improv is. Uh, but yeah, so it's pretty much most people who try it if it's for them, then they'll want more. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, great advice. Great advice, Heather. Um, cool. Well, thank you for uh, doing the scene with me. That was so fun. I, 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 <laughs> honest to God, whenever I'm feeling blue, I am just gonna look at that and go, that is a Labrador. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> oh gosh. Can I ask oh, the copies of those? <laughs> I'll write my poem out for you as well. <laughs> just going to stop the live stream now. So thank you. Try to the world. Try, 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 try the world. <laughs>